Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm most. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PTH and Praise Gotta get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So we have some news, man, from Jerome Boots. And it's again, man. You know, he recently signed with Matt Truman and Eddie Hearn. He's trying to earn with Hearn. Well, Eddie, 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 you gotta keep the boat steady, bro. What do you mean by that? Like you out here, you know what I'm saying? You're rocking the boat too much, man. It's looking shaky, baby. No, did it. So now, you know, uh, uh, Jerome Boots Ennis and the Brian Norman uh, uh, um, Jr. talks have been halted. You know what I'm saying? It is completely stopped as Brian Norman has announced that he has a fight um, on the undercard of Keyshawn Davis and Gustavo, Gustavo Limos. Um, he will be fighting. He'll be back at his first defense against the rank, number seventh ranked. Uh, um, uh, junior, uh, sorry, welterweight, excuse me, the number seventh ranked at the WBO, um, Derek Cuevas, you know, so he'll be fighting Derek Cuevas and, um, in November. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a good fight for your first defense, you know, is he though? Um, but you know, a lot of people are like, they're torn. You know, a lot of people say, oh, oh, um, Brian Norman and his team, they ducked or, 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 or boots of Eddie Hearn was, was being stingy with the money. Um, like I said, man, when you make your evaluation, whether you're Eddie Hearn and you think that the, somebody's not worth more than this much, you know, what they determined, uh, for Brian, Brian boots, uh, Brian Norman, then that's okay. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to come down, then you walk away. And if you're Brian Norman, if they don't want to give you what you feel you deserve, then you walk away too. I don't really think there's a bad guy. That's how negotiations work. Sometimes they don't uh, uh, lead to a deal being made or agreement being made or a deal being brokered. That's life. Like every, <laughs> every negotiation doesn't result in both sides happy. When both parties are happy, they walk away. But I will say this. I think the people that are under the impression that Eddie Hearn didn't make a proper offer, I think if you think about it logically... And, and use your intelligent mind and your, and, and your cognitive skills instead of just going straight off your emotion, you would think, I think you would be led to believe that the closer, what's closer to the truth is that Eddie Hearn didn't provide a prop, an appropriate offer. You know what's indicative of that? What's indicative of that is that Brian Norman is the new champion, right? Brian Norman, while being the new champion, he was the only one that engaged in talks because this, you know, he, he, he wants to make some more money and especially as a new champion, right? But, but Stan Jonas, who's been a champion, he said that he wanted to fight for two years and he didn't even entertain the last offer, meaning that it wasn't worth his time from a financial standpoint. You had one job. Just the one. So that would lead you to believe that Stan Jonas is involuntarily corroborating with Brian Norman's uh, story of not getting enough money. Also, Barrios, Barrios, who's been a champ, has not unified with, with, with Boots either. Unless you think that Barrios is ducking as well, which I don't think Barrios is scared of anything, then that would lead you again to believe that the offer wasn't even worth entertaining. So now go to fast forward to Brian Norman. He also indicated very, very, um, very publicly, and he and, and he was very adamant about disclosing some of the terms that hey man, I wasn't happy with what they offered. So it would lead you to believe that you know more close, what's more closely to the truth. One will be led to believe what's closer to the truth is that Eddie Hearn didn't give a, an appropriate offer. You had one job. Just the one. But with that being said, I'm not saying that anybody should devalue themselves or anybody should out, uh, outprice themselves or anybody should go the extra mile and put themselves at a deficit to make a fight happen. But if you are adamant about making a fight happen and none of the champions want to fight you, then you claim that's a fight you want, then you kind of, you you might have to uh, go ahead and capitulate a little bit in my personal opinion. So now with that being said, Brian Norman has a fight. And if you're, and if you're trying to negotiate with me and I'm Brian Norman coming into it, I'm like, hold on, I know that you need me more than I need you. You know why? Because you don't want to fight the IBF mandatory and carrying Chukadze, and you don't want to do that rematch. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. Right? You don't want to go there. Oh, your other options, Danny Onis, we know that he's not entertaining <laughs> your offer. Yeah. Oh, Barrios, we know he's waiting for Pacquiao. He's also not entertaining your, your offer. Yeah. So that just made me up my price a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? You got to lock in. If you really want this fight to happen, I want this fight to happen, but you're going to compensate me appropriately. And that's, I don't think there's any problem with that. But with that being said, you know, um, Boots has announced in the past before, you know, um, that he would, I, I think it was just facetiously, but um, he said that he would 
he could he could fight at 154 or 160 and including 147 so now um what i like to see about 160 now nah, i think that's too big right now i'm not saying that he can't appropriately do it um just because you're capable of doing something don't doesn't mean that you should do something um i would like to see him stay at 147 and try to unify and, and try to fight other guys even if he can't unify what's up with connor ben i'm not saying connor ben's a big challenge uh, uh skill wise but i think it's a big challenge because connor ben is undefeated oh i think it's i think it's something to look at a challenge that's willing that you should look at because connor ben has england behind him you know eddie hearn from england i think that'd be a be a i don't know how simple it would be but i think that wouldn't be too difficult of a fight to facilitate right and and that that'd give him another uh audience to 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 uh, build his popularity him being boots so i think that um there's some options there besides the champions. Now, I want him to unify as well, you know, but would I be mad if he fought Blair the Flair? Woo! Woo! Cobbs, I think that's a decent fight too, you know what I'm saying? I'll be cool with boosting that. But um, but with that being said, Eddie Hearn is announced that, hey, man, he might be going to 154. I'm not mad at that because there's a lot of smoke. <laughs> There's a lot of smoke to inhale and exhale at 154, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention you have the guy, the pound for pound champ, uh, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford over there. That's the guy you've been, you've been, you've been, you've been chasing, you know, um, this whole time he's there. You got Virgil Ortiz. That's a, that's a fight that everybody wants to see those two up and coming prospects. That's a possibility. Yes, sir. He Bullachuk, who, um, who, who would definitely show interest from what we've seen of him. You know, there's so many other fights. We just saw Brandon Adams fight last night. Not, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know, so there's so many fighters at 154. I didn't even name Tim Zhu, Brian Mendoza, um, um, and there's Israel Madrimov. You know what I'm saying? There's just, just so many. Eric Lubin. I keep going. Eric, Sebastian Fedora. Keep going to keep Bakram Murtazali. I'm going to stop, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to name everybody, but there's a lot of smoke there. So I wouldn't mind him going to 154, um, and he could join that. I, I, I don't anticipate that he'll have any trouble getting fights over there. Um, but do I think that they're actually going to move to 154? No. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> Show goes on. Um, I think they're actually going to fight their IBF mandatory and Karen, even though it's a rematch, and, or maybe find somebody else to fight and pay them to step aside money. But I don't, I don't foresee them going to 154 for real. But if they did, hey, I'm all for it, man. Um, but yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Would you like to see Boots at 154? Would you like him to stay at 147? Me personally, I would like them to stay at 147 for a little longer. But I will applaud the young man for 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 taking his dead destiny in his own hands. You know what I'm saying? And stop, stop, and stop acting like. Your career depends directly on any one person, whether it's Bud or Brian Norman or Stan Yonis or, or Barrio. So we want to see those unifications happen, but maybe like just give it a little bit more time. And I think I think it'll happen, but that's easy for me to say because I'm just watching. So yeah, I, I would like the 147 fight, but if he goes to 154, I like the fact that, like I said, he's controlling his own path. And I think that's what a lot of fighters should do more often, you know what I'm saying, as, as opposed to just chasing one or two people. Um, yeah. I, I think it'll happen eventually, and I think he does stay at 147. Uh, maybe Karen gets some step aside money, and uh, he could fight somebody else like a Connor Ben, like a like a um, um, uh, um, I just had his name. I'm talking about uh, a Blair the Flair Cobbs or a uh, Shakram Giyashov. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Or even um uh, even Alexis Rocha, you know, I, I think stuff can happen like that, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you think he's really going to 154 or what? I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. And remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. <laughs>